Hey everyone, Dr. Gala here, and today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite recipes for on the go, quick and easy, is homemade jerky. Well, I start by getting the local butcher shop to pre-cut the meat, about to 10 pounds, into jerky strips. I, I love having my homemade, or my, my, my home backyard herb garden, so I can dice up a lot of fresh herbs, whether it's oregano, uh, rosemary, um, uh, thyme, all those herbs that you love, just mix them up, dice them up and you just throw that right in there and it'll give it a nice, fresh, healthy, anti-inflammatory flavor to it. At the same time, I'm mixing up a mixture of mustard, balsamic vinegar, as well as my favorite spices, including pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. Uh, if you like turmeric or curcumin, you can mix all that in there. You can see I have a pretty good, uh, pretty good paste mixed pretty good, so that way it'll coat it um, and get some good flavoring all throughout. Also, uh, now I won't use salt, but I will use a little bit of uh, salt substitute or no salt uh, seasoning, as well as an herb rub. So I like to mix it up and change it up, and I encourage you to do the same. Try different blends, different herbs, different spices. Again, if you can stay away from the salt, that'll do the best. So throw it all in there, mix it all up by hand so it's nice and coated, but before you do that, uh, you want to lay out all of your trays for your dehydrator first because your hands will get nice and messy. So lay out all your trays first and mix everything up by hand. Have it all set out, all prepped ahead of time. So that way you can uh, you can easily just start, you don't have to move the trays and start getting the mess everywhere. That's one of the biggest tips that I've found has been helpful. If you don't look like you have enough coating on it afterwards, you can always, uh, you can always put a little bit more seasoning. I put a little bit more garlic powder and onion powder just for a little bit more flavor. You don't necessarily have to. But once you mix it up, it should have a nice, good coating on everything. It should be a pretty good dry rub. And again, getting it cut pre ahead of time at the local butcher shop will really save you a tremendous amount of time. Uh, and usually it's only about a dollar more per pound if I ask you to have it pre-cut. And then when I lay it out, I try to lay it out in the best strips possible. With a, uh, I, I lay it pretty tight, pretty close, as you can tell, but I want to let some air flow through because if it gets too close, then the air won't be flowing through appropriately and it won't dehydrate uh, correctly. So as you can see, I try to put it close, but try not to have it touching or overlapping too much. And the way my dehydrator works uh, is that the, the top, the bottom usually dries fastest. So what I like to do is uh, throughout the day, after about eight to eight to uh, 16 hours, I like to switch it up a bit and take the dry stuff out and add in more. And I just keep the, the leftovers in the fridge so I can just add to it uh, as, uh, as stuff dries. I can put it in a Ziploc bag, put it in the freezer into individual little baggies and I'm ready to go for snacks. It'll last a long time in the freezer and just put it in the fridge when you want an individual bag. And that's a great, healthy, wonderful snack that's quick and easy, ready to go.